Hello and welcome to Core Basics Coding Tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to see how to undo or reset or revert your code changes in Git. For this, we are going to first clone our GitHub repository. In my previous tutorial, I created this test repository and I'm just going to click here to copy the link and in git bash, I will run git clone command to clone the repository locally. Now I have this C code directory and if you look at this directory, I don't have any test uh, directory here. But once I clone it, I will have it. So now I got it. Okay. Now I'm going to open this test directory into pycharm. So I have opened it here already. I have my hungry code here. You might be familiar uh, with this code if you have watched my previous Git tutorials. All I'm going to do is make some changes and show you how you can undo those changes. Okay. So the first item we are covering is undoing your uncommitted changes. So let's say I change this code and add one new line. All right. So I'm adding this new line. I'm running the program. And then I realized that I'm feeding too much junk to my kid. You know, I don't want my kid to look like this. So I want to cut down on his pizza intake. So I will undo this one line. All right. For doing that, I will go to my git bash first run git status command. I was not in test directory. That's why it gave me that error. So I'm now in test directory running git status. It is showing me I have changed hungry.py file. Okay. Before this, you see this useful tip. It says you can run git checkout minus minus file name to discard changes in your working directory. So I'm just going to use this git checkout minus minus my file name is hungry.py. Hit enter. When I do that, my pizza change is gone. All right. Now I can easily undo that change by removing that last line. But when you are doing programming in real life, you might have hundreds of lines of code changed for that. You're not going to manually undo all of those lines, right? It's very cumbersome. So that's why you, you, you will use git checkout minus minus command. Okay. Now, what if you have multiple files changed? So again, you have, let's say, uh, this file changed first of all, and you have readme file changed as well. Let's say you added some garbage here. Uh, now when I do git status, I will see two files are changed. One option is I do git checkout minus minus this file name first and then the second file name but there is a convenient option of using dot when you do dot it is gonna undo all the files so when i do git status here you see all, both of these files are gone and when i open it here in my pycharm code editor pizza is gone and that junk is gone all right so this was a quick demo on how to undo uncommitted changes but what if you have committed changes so let me first commit some changes all right so i have my pizza change i am going to commit that so always do git add to add your file to staging area then do git commit minus m means message pizza all right this commits my change how do you know it's committed you can always run git log and in the git log it is showing that this change is committed with this particular commit id okay life is good so far i want to eat more junk food and i will say eat burger okay cool again go here and git add now one thing you notice i always do git add and then git do then do git commit right so there is one easy option called git commit minus am now when i do minus am the problem is is gonna probably add this one as well so okay i'm not going to do that so i will just do git add 
hungry and then git commit minus m burger okay clear it and again check git log and now i have pizza and burger both committed cool all right now what i want to do is i want to undo this burger chain okay now i can't run git checkout minus minus because the change is already committed so for this you can use git revert command okay now that command would need the commit id so i'm going to just copy it so double click here copy the commit id and then run git revert that particular commit id okay it's just showing the summary that you are rewarding that particular commit and you need to type colon q to close this ui and once you do that the change is committed so let me verify okay you see that burger is gone okay and if you run git log here you will see there was a burger change and now there is a reward burger chain awesome so this looks good so far now one thing you might have noticed is when i did git reward it directly committed the change let's say i don't want to commit the change i want to run git reward and then i want to explicitly commit it okay you can do that by using minus n option so first let's do git log okay and now let's say i want to undo this burger this pizza chain okay so first you need to copy this okay and then do git reward minus n so it's the same command that we ran previously but now we have minus n option when you do this all right let me show you here when you do this that change uh, that pizza line is gone all right but the change is not committed so if you do git status you will see now that file is modified it is uncommitted so now you need to explicitly commit it you can review your change and explicitly commit it and say revert pizza so now when you do git log you will see revert pizza here so the difference between supplying a minus n option versus not supplying it is the minus n option will not commit your changes versus if you don't supply anything it will just commit the changes okay okay now the third item we are covering today is git reset so i have all this git log history all right this shows the history in time of how my code evolved okay so in my code evolution let's say i want to go back to this status where i had pizza and burger both okay i realized that whatever changes i made after that they are not useful and i want to undo those changes okay so for doing that you can use git reset command so first let me copy which commit id i want to go to so let's say i want to go to this status on friday august 5 1954 so i will copy this and i will do git uh, reset minus minus hard this commit id and now I, when you say git log you will notice all those revert changes are gone and in your working directory you are back to eating pizza and burger okay so git reset is actually quite powerful it takes you to any previous timestamp in your code uh, history but at the same time it is destructive as well if you make a mistake then you will just lose all your changes so be very careful when you are using git reset command all right so that was all about undoing changes in git thank you for watching